All new tonight, the Hillsborough County School District is in the process of drawing new district boundaries based on updated census data, and their goal is to get it done by the end of the year. But as ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline shows us, some parents are very worried the process is being rushed. Based on current plans, by the time kids come back from winter break next year, the Hillsborough County School District will be done adjusting its current district lines. Each of the board members can turn in a map. Right now, the district is considering these maps, and they have to be drawn with four things in mind. They can't cut across communities. District 5's population must be at least 37% black. Each district should have a relatively even number of people, and there should be a balance of ethnic groups between each district. To help achieve this, the school district is working closely with the county itself, which is also doing redistricting of its own. Voters should have a very easy time saying, oh, my my county commissioner district is district one. It looks like this. I'm in it. In it. And so is my Hillsborough County Public School District. But as this initiative moves forward, some parents in the area say there are two major red flags with the process. My main concern is that this is being rushed. I agree with many people on that aspect. I think that it's something that's going to affect us for the next 10 years and that we need to take our time on. Because the school district got census data back much later than expected this year, some are pushing for the process to be postponed. According to state law, that would mean waiting until 2023. But the school board member we spoke to says the district likely won't be doing that because population growth has severely skewed current districts. If it's not changed to, to be consistent with equal representation, then you will be sued by the DOE. And it's something the board chair says they can't afford. The next concern is connected to population growth. Some parents believe there's been enough of it in the southern part of the county to warrant a sixth physical district on the map. The truth of it is in East and South County, we have overcrowded schools, congested roadways, the highest crash rates, and we are not part of the conversation. But how likely is it that we'll see a new district? I think it's a possibility. Uh, right now, you're, there's a lot of pol politics going on. Now, if you have questions about the maps they're considering or even suggestions, the district is holding a series of community meetings to get your input. The next one is set for November 16th. In Tampa, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News. Rochelle, thank you. It's important to note these updated district lines won't impact your child's school zoning, but they will impact who is elected to be your next school board representative. If passed by the end of the year, these new boundaries will be in effect for the upcoming 2022 school board elections.